Good evening, good morning, good night, good day. It's your boy Retro. Thank you for pressing play. watching via um, uh, YouTube. We want to say thank you. We also want to say welcome to the show. Uh, we have the pleasure tonight of having two gentlemen from uh, Shield of Faith. Uh, we'll be bringing them on in just a moment. I also have uh, my VP who's going to be with us on tonight, Lowrider. Um, and so I want you to go ahead and hit the share button. If you own a motorcycle or a motorcycle or something with two wheels, Go ahead and share this, man, because here's the thing, man. I found out that just because you start at one place doesn't mean that's where you're going to be forever, okay? And some people are, some people get into the bike scene for many reasons, uh, but then they have a, a come to Jesus meeting, you know, and, and they realize that things have got to change. And, and, and just because things have got to change doesn't mean you got to stop riding your motorcycle. There are plenty of good guys out here that love the Lord. You can ride with, enjoy yourself, have a good time, and, uh, and, and not have to worry about getting in trouble while you are out there. Uh, let's see here. Uh, yeah, so let me go ahead and bring my guest on tonight. Uh, first and foremost, we have with us... Uh, the awesome, the cool, the, you know, I, I don't know. We just, we just throw a whole bunch of accolades out there and then end it with Steve Nelson is in the building. How you doing, Steve? I'm doing great. How are you, Retro? Oh man, I'm doing good, man. You sound good. You're looking good. So we, we getting ready to get this thing on and popping. Uh, let's bring your homeboy in. Uh, we, we, we have with us, ladies and gentlemen, the one and only, uh, Mr. Kingpin. Come on now. Come on in the room, Kingpin. How you doing? I'm doing well. How about you? I'm doing good. I, I, I just need you to know that I, at some point in this show, we're going to rally back to the whole kingpin thing. I, I need to know about that. I need to know about that. I'm just going to be honest with you. All right. So we're going to have some fun tonight. We're going to have a good time. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, the man of the hour, the man of the minute, the man of the second, the man of the day, the man of the week and the year, ladies and gentlemen. Say what's up to my man, Low Rider. Low Rider, how you doing, sir? Good evening, good evening, Pastor. How you How you doing, gentlemen? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. I'm glad you were able to make it. Yeah. Um, so tonight, what we want to talk about, we want to we want to dive into uh, the making of a motorcycle ministry. Um, and so, um, Steve, if you will, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. Let the guests know who uh, you are and where you hail from. Sure. Sure. Um, I hail from uh, the north side of Cincinnati, a uh -oh. town called Mainville. Um, I've been doing various ministry for the last 10 years. i uh, been riding for close to on and off 30 years. Mm -hmm. 
Um, we're just a new ministry, uh, almost a year in the books. Okay. okay, nice, nice, nice. Now, initially, you know, I, you know, I'm a kind of a sporadic kind of guy. Uh, you know, every now and then I'll try to do a little bit of research, but but I don't try to get all deep in this, that, and the other. And uh, I, I I didn't know until tonight that that you guys um, are our new ministry. That's awesome, man. Uh, congratulations. Thank you, Amen, for real. Um, Thank you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, Kingpin, tell us who you are, brother, and, and, and where you're from. Uh, originally, I'm from uh, northern Pennsylvania, but I've been in uh, Cincinnati now for, well, since 96. Okay. Um, I've been riding since the age of 14, and uh, I'll, I'll not do anything else. Nothing different, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's your ride, Kingpin? Right now, it's a 2012 Yamaha V-Star 1300. Nice, 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 nice. That's what I'm talking about, man. Amen. And uh, Lowrider, go ahead and introduce yourself, brother. Yeah, uh, Lowrider, I'm the uh, VP for the uh, um, <clears throat> Kingdom, I mean, Alignment Motorcycle Ministry. Uh -huh. My president here is uh, Retro. We're, uh, again, just like you guys, just starting a new ministry. And uh, we're excited about what God has in store for us. Amen, amen, amen. So, Lowrider, let the folks know where you're from originally. I'm originally from Dallas, North Carolina, if you guys have ever heard of it. I have, I have, close, I have. Close to Gastonia. Yeah. My hometown is Dallas, North Carolina. Okay, but now you reside at the in, in the gas house. Queen City now. Oh, Queen, Queen City. City. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Um, all right, so welcome everybody to the show and... Um, so the starting of a of a motorcycle ministry, um, Steve. Um, so why a motorcycle ministry? Well, um, back in 2017, um, our chaplain Pam and I were down in Haiti on a missions trip, and we were on a tactical prayer strike out in um, in front of all the children's homes that we were ministering to. And I, you were on a what? Uh, we were on a missions trip. Uh -huh. uh, with uh, the church I go to and back-to-back uh, -back ministries. And it was all foster, um, I'm sorry, uh, orphan care. Okay. And we were outside of one of the um, children's homes uh, praying for that. And she turned to me and asked me if I had a motorcycle. And I said, yes, I do. She says, well, God's going to do something that's going to blow your mind with that motorcycle in you. Wow. And that was part of the prophecy. And God just continued to work on me over the last, uh, the, the, the next three years. And after a, a motorcycle accident in uh, March of 2020, he really started pouring into me wow. about this ministry. Nice, nice, nice. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so let me ask this. And, uh, and, and any of you guys, uh, matter of fact, uh, you know, if you all want to uh, chime in, you certainly can. Um, but what's one of the most important things um, in the process of starting a motorcycle ministry, in your opinion? Uh, I'll chime in. Uh, there's actually two things that I've got that are the most important in, in, in my eyes. One, it's being Christ-centered. It has nice. to be. Uh, we have to be intentional about everything that we do that it points back to Christ. Mm -hmm. Second mm -hmm. is spirit-led. It yeah. says in Galatians 5.25, since we are living by the Spirit, let us follow the Spirit's leading in every part of our lives. So those two are the biggest ones in, in, in my eyes. Okay, okay. Um, let me ask you this, Kingpin. Um, uh, what is it about um, Shield of Faith that made you say, you know what, I can do this? Um, it, it's the servant's heart. Um, every every member that comes into this, you know, or even looks into this ministry, uh, sees that where our heart is is strictly in servanthood. So mm -hmm. we're out there, we're doing that great commission, and we just happen to ride motorcycles. We're a ministry right. first, right? You know, we ride motorcycles second. That's the that's the reward for going out and doing some good ministry, getting out the gospel, and and reaching out to people. Mm -hmm. um, and the the motorcycle riding again, it's just. It's just the cream on the top, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Low rider, you anything you want to add uh, along that question, or? Well, pretty much uh, the same thing as uh, as a motorcycle ministry. 
we're actually a church on wheels. Mm -hmm. And so the Great Commission tells us to go out and make disciples. So we can't do that inside of four walls. So we have to, we have to uh, let, let people see God in us. Mm -hmm. so, even though we're among others, motorcycle clubs or whatever, but we still have to maintain that we're Christ-centered and Bible-based and led by yeah. the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I'm going to throw this out there and um, I probably should wait till a little bit later on, but it, it is what it is. It's the retro. So you never know what's going to happen. Right. So um, what is your take on um, Christian MCs, Christian motorcycle clubs? Anybody? <laughs> I, I hear the birds. <laughs> 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 Is that a trick question, Retro? <laughs> <laughs> well, well, here's what I'm getting at. First of all, we want to say thank you to uh, Manuel. Uh, he's watching, and he says, Church on Wheels, my brothers. And then Sellers Boo Davis, he's watching as well. Thank you guys so very much for following the show and pressing play. He says, congratulations to both of y'all, uh, New Motorcycle Ministries. Uh, God bless y'all. Amen. We appreciate that very, very much. And so if we are going to be a Church on Wheels, I saw a, uh, a, a documentary and it was a uh, it was a motorcycle club. However, they were a Christian motorcycle club. And I'm guessing the difference and maybe I shouldn't even speak on it since I'm not a, a, a Christian MC. But I would imagine the differences because I've heard people say I'm a biker first. You know, the biker mm -hmm. aspect is more important or it takes, you know, uh, dominance, if you will. Um, mm -hmm. And then in doing so they look for opportunities to minister, you know? Um, so what are some do's and don'ts? Let's, let's talk about that. What are some do's and don'ts, um, you know, uh, when starting or going forward as a motorcycle ministry? Uh, from my perspective, well, a friend of mine told me, <laughs> go ahead, George. Yeah. I, yeah. From my perspective, um, you got to do what you say you're going to do. Uh -huh. um, you don't, and you don't even have to use words. People are watching you. Yeah. And if you've got a patch and it says we're a ministry, they're going to be looking at that. They're going to be watching your actions. They're going to be watching what you say. They're going to be watching what you do. So mm -hmm. every time you don that vest and that patch is out, there's eyes on you. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Exactly. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, let's see. And, and not only are there, there not, not only that, you know, because eyes are on you. Um, but you have to be so careful because I don't know, I, you know, but on my vest, you know, I've got, you know, I got a cross. I got a few Christian saints and things like that. So I have to, I, I, I like to ride and, and sometimes I ride a little hard. Uh, but then sometimes I realize that, you know, my riding could give the wrong impression. You know, I don't want, yeah. I don't know if that's making any sense, but I have to remain mindful of what's on my patch, what's on mm -hmm. my, what's on my vest. You understand mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because when they look at and they say, hold on, that's a couple crosses and uh, oh, you a Christian? Yeah. Right. So everywhere right. we go and everything we do has to point back to Christ. I like what you said yeah. though, Steve, yeah. we are centered and spirit led, mm -hmm. you know, we, we have to be, man, we have to be. So think about, you know, we all, most of us have radios and music on our bikes. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I think when I pull up to a red light yeah, and another car is there or whatever with the windows down yeah, and gospel music, uh -huh. that's a, that's a change. You know, they, they expecting they hear secular music or whatever, but I'm right. playing gospel music. Yes, sir. I don't yeah. turn it down. I want to hear, it, you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Let's see here. We got a we got a comment from yep. Ariel. Hernandez. I want to give a, a shout out to, uh, to to Ariel on something that he told uh, me and it kind of stuck with me is you can't minister to somebody you secretly want to be. That's so hey. true. Hey. So true. <laughs> no matter when we saying something like that yesterday. Exactly. That's right. Yeah. I'm telling you, it's so so true. Speaking. Speak. Go ahead. Go ahead, Low Rider. 
And I said, we had a powerful time yesterday. Oh, man, we really did, man. I, we yeah. really did. We really did. Uh, speaking of Ariel, a.k.a. Uh, 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 God's Lion, uh, he says, I pray you guys have a fantastic and anointed show. I'm sorry I can't get on. I have to be back at work at midnight, so I'm putting the kids down and trying to catch a nap. God bless you. God bless all of you. Amen. We appreciate that, Ariel, man. God bless you. Uh, kiss those beautiful children. Uh, for us, and uh, hopefully you get some rest so you can get back to the JLB yeah. at the appointed time. Uh, yeah. Let's see here. He says, as a Christian, this is Sellers Boo watching with us. He said, as a Christian, we are told to let our light so shine before people so they may see our good works uh, even on our motorcycle. Mm -hmm. Now, the other part of that scripture, so that they may see our good works, and this is the, this is the part I like, and glorify the Father. So therefore, what we do should point mm -hmm. them back to him because it's no goodness of our own. Mm -hmm. You know, it's only because of his grace and, uh, and his mercy. Uh, so Steve uh, Kingpin. So, Steve, let me just you know, I don't think we I know it, but I just to make it clear for those who are watching or listening. Uh, you are the, the president, correct? Correct. OK. A president of Shield of Faith and um, Kingpin. What is your position, sir? I'm the secretary. Okay, Secretary. Um, well, good for you guys, man. I, I, I'm glad for you guys. Now, Kingdom Alignment Motorcycle Ministry <laughs> will be coming to your area. Uh, not this year, because y'all are kind of cold up there right about now. And, uh, you know, I, I know how Ohio like to do. I, I know. I know. I know. Right. So. Uh, so what we will do is um, we, uh, as a matter of fact, Lowrider, we'll, we'll be having our meeting this coming Sunday. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're already going to, you know, we've already talked about uh, putting together our calendar and things like that. So um, mm -hmm. Lowrider, we'll get together and we'll you see where we can fit that in and, and things All like right. that. So, uh, All right. Steve and Kingpin, man, we'll, we'll be getting your way, uh, you know, next year once the weather, nice. you know. Now, we ride year round, but, you know, I, you know Ohio's yeah. a different story. <laughs> yeah. You guys are more than welcome. Good, 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 good. So, um, uh, any, any, any hurdles, any difficulty, um, and, and your beginning process of starting the motorcycle ministry. I'll jump in. Um, I think it's, uh, just, uh, seeking it, not a hurdle, but seeking prayer to, uh, uh, avoid those hurdles. And when we do, we come together as brothers and we discuss these things so we can we can address it and through prayer seek guidance before we react to anything. OK, OK, that's good. That's good. Um, Kingpin, anything you want to add? I mean, every day could be a hurdle. But, mm -hmm. you know, when you're when you're putting your trust in God and, you know, God has this ministry pushing out there. And you're holding on for all you can and just, you know, I'm, I'm along for the ride. Um, so, yeah, I mean, yeah, there's going to be hurdles there, but it's a day to day thing. And it's going back and saying, listen, Lord, I'm I'm putting my trust in you because you said this is what the ministry you want. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. that's yeah. Yeah. And, and that's the good thing about acknowledging God and seeking him for direction, because where he guides, he provides. So if God leads you somewhere, then you don't have to fret because like you can just go, hey, God, this is what you told me. I'm doing what you said to do. So where you at? Where you at? You know, you know, and uh, for me, that's that's just a peace of mind. Uh, so uh, let's see. The devil, this is uh, uh, Bernie, he's watching with us on tonight. He says, the devil all, well, the devil always tried to stop the work of God as a ministry. We have to keep being obedient. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And obedience doesn't mean it's always the way we want it to go. Sometimes right. obedience is doing what we really don't want to do. I mean, you know, because sometimes you don't want to go, okay, I guess, uh, what was his name? Jonah comes to mind, right? He didn't want to go down to Nineveh, mm -hmm. you know, uh, but God had a way of getting him there, mm -hmm. you know? And yeah. so sometimes God requires us to do things that the natural man really doesn't want to do. Okay. Uh, and that's my opinion. Mm -hmm. Um so um don't really know a whole lot about the uh, Ohio scene uh but um are there any other motorcycle ministries that you're aware of in, in your area or or close to you guys? Okay. Uh, are there quite a few or 
I can think about three or four in the, the area, uh, that, and that goes up to Dayton and Columbus. Mm-hmm. Okay. And, and these are motorcycle ministries, right? Correct. Okay. So ha- have they been helpful uh, with you, you, you know, with you guys getting your motorcycle ministry up and up and going? Um, for the most part, we, we got up and going on our own before we even reached out to anybody. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Uh, it, this was, this was God led. And um, there was the original five of us that really started pouring into this ministry Mm-hmm. And um, just seeking God on on direction. Nice, nice, nice. Um, let me, if I can, uh, if you can think of one, I'd like to get a testimony um, from you guys as to uh, you know your motorcycle, not your motorcycle, but you know um, since you've been riding, you know, just give me a testimony if you would, a, a God moment on your motorcycle. Maybe it was an interaction with somebody or. Anything come to mind for any of you guys? Go ahead. You, you, anybody can just jump in. George, you want it or? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. We, uh, Steve and I were coming back from a uh, a celebration of one of our uh, one of our members um, as a firefighter, and you know there was a, a celebration going on. So we were out there on our bikes, and we were coming back. And it was just about dusk. So we're trying to beat it home so that, you know, you don't have to, because you, in Ohio, you gotta, you gotta deal with the deer. So we're trying to beat it before we hit dusk and out of nowhere, this van comes swerving in front of us Wow! and, and he is all over the road, back and forth and back and forth. And at one point he even hit and went up on a guardrail and came back down. Good and Lord. so, you know, Steve and I are right behind him. So we're backing off and we're backing off. And so we ended up following this guy and he, uh, he pulls into um, a speedway, a, a gas station. And we decided, <laughs> we're gonna pull in, you know, make sure he's okay. And uh, as we get in there, we're sitting there watching him. He gets out and he's checking out his, his van and stuff. And so we decided we're just going to go and make sure he's okay. So we wheel around to the side of the side of the van and, you know, he's back inside and he, he rolls the window down and we're like, Hey, are you okay? I mean, we saw you having some troubles back there and, and stuff like that. And, uh, he steps out of the truck, we get off the bikes and, you know, we're just like, you know, everything. Okay. And he just started crying. He wow. broke down and started crying Man. and he unloaded on us just about how he's having so much problem with his, his uh, wife wanting to leave him and work wanting this. And um, it was just a total God moment mm-hmm. where, that, you know, and right. for me personally, I'm, I'm looking at this guy come swerving out in front of me and I'm a little upset. I mean, I'm on a bike and I'm, you know, I don't have a cage around me. <laughs> right, but, right, right. But God totally took that moment and just made me go, oh, wow, yeah. you weren't even expecting it. And I've got something for you to do. And uh, we got to we got to stand there and pray with the guy and and just have a good time fellowship and, uh, and praying for him. That it was a total God moment. Wow, that awesome that, that, that's definitely a God moment right there, man. Mm-hmm. Definitely a God moment, man. Um, it's amazing, man. You know, we have to be ready uh, at at all times, man, because we never know when God is going to present us with an opportunity to be Him in the earth. You know. Right. Uh, you know, you may mention that guy, you know, he's swerving, coming in like that. You know, chances are, you know, we could have probably been really mad and, you know, wanted to lay hands on him without praying. If you That's know what right. I'm saying, you That's know, right. um, but, <laughs> but God, you know, but God, you know, Absolutely. Um, how about you, Lil Rider? You want to jump well, in on that one, man? Yeah, I, I can look at my testimony uh, of the past year and a half, maybe. Mm-hmm. Uh, I had decided that. I wasn't going to ride anymore. I wasn't going to be a part of a ministry anymore. And then, so I didn't ride for over a year. I let my tag run out and all of that. I said, I'm, you know, I'm not going to ride. I'm not going to ride anymore. And then mm-hmm. Retro came and started talking about starting up the Kingdom Alignment Motorcycle Ministry. And at that moment, I decided this is this is God talking to me. So, I got rid of. I had a soft tail. <laughs> I made the soft tail in, and now I got a street glide. So I'm ready to road. I'm ready to. I'm ready to witness. 
no matter how far I got to go. So that was that's my testimony because I had I had I was not going to do it again. But mm. at that moment, God said, OK, this is it. This is ministry. This is really what ministry is about. Right. So then I decided to join in with Retro. Amen. Amen. And we're, we're so uh, honored and glad to have you, uh, Low Rider. Um, you know, I believe for, for me, uh, motorcycle ministry is awesome. Uh, I've been riding um, since I was about 15. Uh, as a matter of fact, since I was probably about like 12, I bought my first bike at, at 15. I was on dirt bikes before that. And I bought an EX500 when I was in high school. Mm. And uh, I think it might have been my first year of high school, maybe my second year of high school. Couldn't tell me nothing. Boy, it was pearl white, had a stripe down it. It was loud and just, and uh, I was I, I was doing the thing, you know. And uh, and so I, I really do. I enjoy motorcycles. I've had, you know, quite a few since then. And um, but for me, uh, I thank God for opportunities to represent him in the earth. Uh, but I also think that in, in, in internal ministry is just as important as, you know, going out into the hedges and byways. And what I mean by that is if we're preaching to people here, there and everywhere, but we can't you know, lift up each other, you know, within the ministry, then something's off, something's mm -hmm. off, you know? Mm -hmm. And, um, and so we are extremely appreciative to all of, of those who uh, join with us to, to start this ministry. And we're really excited, looking forward to great things, man. Uh, mm -hmm. Steve, you have a, a God moment, sir. Um, I share the one same one with George. Same it was with, just, yeah. um, I, man, the spirit was just tugging at me to, to pull in behind behind him. And yeah. like George, I was a little miffed. I was, mm -hmm. <laughs> I, thought he, I thought he had been drinking. Yeah. And, uh, you know, just to, to pull up next to him. And I'm like, he said, yeah, I'm okay. And I'm like, no, are you okay? Yeah. And that's just when I, I just felt the spirit right. enter the room. And it was just, you know, it a guy's broken heart and just laying it all out to two guys on motorcycles that he doesn't even know. Yeah. It, was, it yeah. had to be nothing but the spirit work. I, mm -hmm. and, and that's where it goes back to that spirit led part, you know, exactly. because, you know, retro might, like I said, might want to lay hands on it without praying. Um, mm -hmm. But, but and, and see, people <laughs> get it twisted and they think that you're saved. Um, but you don't have amnesia. You, you still have emotions and things like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you know, um, anyway, uh, you have to be spirit led because like I said, you want to handle things one way, but then the spirit begins to talk, begins to move. And you realize that you've got to decrease and let God in you Absolutely. increase. Amen. And, um, that guy could have been suicidal. You know, when you talk about, he was pouring out, man, maybe he wanted to end his life. Kingpin, you know, Steve, maybe he was, you know, and, and then you said, are you okay? He said, yeah, I'm okay. Then you said, no, yeah. are you okay? Right. You know, that, that's that's awesome. Mm -hmm. That is absolutely awesome. Let's go to the uh, to the viewers real quick. We've got a question here from uh, from Sellers. He says, "I believe we have to be careful of the name we choose for MM Motorcycle Ministry." How y'all feel about that, brothers? Anybody want to uh, um, you know reach out and answer that one? Or well, it has to be it has to represent Christ. I mean, the, the name. Uh, you're gonna be a ministry. It has to, it has to be centered around Christ. Uh, mm -hmm. It can't be of a secular secular name. Right. right. Uh, I, I agree with that. Think about the kingdom alignment. Uh, our patch has uh, the picture of a lion on it, mm -hmm. and and that and that's representative of. The Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. And, and, I, and agree. So, I agree with that wholeheartedly. Yeah. So you have kingdom alignment, and and one of our things. Uh, is about just that aligning the kingdom, which is why we have this show. You know, there are some people who's like, well, you know, we're trying to start a motorcycle ministry. We don't want Shield of Faith on here because, you know, uh, look at here, man. You know, no one can win all the souls. Yeah. So how about we sharpen each other because iron sharpeneth iron. How about we encourage one another and, and, and build each other up and then collect because one can chase a thousand. Come on, somebody. And two can right. chase 10,000. So we're stronger together. We're stronger yeah. unified. Yeah. Yeah. Then we are divided, you know. Right, exactly. Yeah, and so you know, we Retro, are that's, going. That's why we even went. I'm sorry. Go ahead. You're, you're fine. Go ahead, sir. 
Uh, that's uh, actually what led us to the shield of faith being one of the the parts of our armor from Ephesians is that we are stronger. Uh, when you think back into the Roman times, uh, how they would form the line, they would link their shields together, right? mm -hmm. which would make them even stronger. And that's pretty much what led us into choosing the, the, the shield of faith. And it's it, it's for our protection uh, of extinguishing the flaming arrows that the enemy throws at us. And Lord knows he's gonna he gonna he gonna throw yeah. some too. Yeah, he's gonna do that. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna throw some. So just to give you guys a little background of of of, of kingdom alignment, um, we started the ministry up. I, I pastor church here in Mooresville, uh, Upper Praise Ministries. Uh, we started the ministry about. About 13 years ago, we both founded it and uh, and, and we pastor uh, the church. Um, so anyway, about year number two, maybe year number three, uh, God is dealing with me uh, because we had had a, a, a church anniversary. Uh, we didn't really do a pastor anniversary. We was, you know, pastor church is same time. So it's like, you know, mm -hmm. um, so anyway, God dealt with me very strong and he convicted me and, and he told me don't have another church anniversary. He said, and he gave me kingdom alignment, okay, uh, for some of the same reasons I just spoke about, because I think things had gotten out of alignment, you know. It seems like people were having these anniversaries to be, you know, set up like they were little gods and collect money and everything. And and I just didn't want to be in that in that group. I didn't want to be numbered amongst those, you know. So we started having king. I think we had the first one in and I want to say 2010, maybe somewhere around there. Um, but anyway, it was it was kingdom. So every year we would have a kingdom alignment uh, in lieu of pastoral and church anniversary, you know. And um, and so when we got ready to uh, start the motorcycle ministry or at least begin to, you know, uh, throw the thought around uh, because there were some other options that were on the table initially. Um so then I started thinking and I, I was sitting at the church and I was talking with the wife. We were talking and um, and I said, I got to come up with a name. And I happened to look on the wall and we still have the banner from one of the uh, services, Kingdom Alignment. And I looked up and I mm -hmm. saw it and it's like God himself just spoke. Mm -hmm. That's it. So that's how we came up with yeah. the, uh, the name right. Kingdom Alignment. I then, of course, brought it to the team. Uh, they were fine with it. And, uh, and so, voila, here we go. Nice. You know? Um, but I think um, Lowrider mentioned about, you know, names should be uh, godly names or, you know, kingdom names and not so much secular stuff like, you know, uh, Knuckle Busters Motorcycle <laughs> Ministry. You know? <laughs> that just don't, you know, that just, yeah, that does, you know, yeah. So, so, so hopefully that answered the question, sellers. Um if not, just uh, let us know and we'll try to, uh, you know, be a little bit more uh, detailed. Um, Manuel says, as a motorcycle, as motorcycle ministries, we have different callings. I like that. We wear different patches, ride different bikes and come from different backgrounds and cultures, cultures. Right. But we focus on the mission, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I like Amen. that. Amen. I like that. Amen. I like that. So we'll talk about this uh, because we live in a world that's just crazy um, and they're always trying to set things against things and you know um, but I don't have a problem uh, fellowshipping uh, I know on the bike set you got the black bike set and you got the white black uh, bike set you know what I mean um, but that stuff doesn't phase me man you know I can I can rub shoulders with anybody uh, color doesn't matter to me. You know, culture doesn't matter to me. You nice to me, I'll be nice to you. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's what we're looking to do. We're just just fellowship and get yeah. to know. Uh, well, uh, other than Christ, Christ, no color. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. we're, we're, we're all one in Him. Mm -hmm. Amen. So we got some YouTube viewers that are saying, "Amen, Amen." Uh, my wife, she's watching. Uh, she says, "Link together in unity to build a strong bond for the kingdom." Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. Uh, so have any ministries uh, reached out to you guys in, in, in your beginning stages, uh, Steve, and offered any help, assistance, 
uh, or anything of that nature? I've actually met with a couple of uh, of the ministries, uh, the, the heads of the, some of the ministries, and kind of shared what we were we were doing and desiring to to know what they were doing. And uh, you know, I think we have a a, a common um, thing that if they need help with something, that we're gonna we're gonna jump to it. And if we need help that they would do likewise. Amen. Amen. I'm, I'm glad to hear that, man. And I want to encourage you. Um, and, uh, and I'm looking forward to coming up to the Ohio area. I mean, I, I really do. I really do. Okay. So, um, uh, tell me a little bit about the church you go to. Steve. Um, I go to, um, uh, a church in Loveland, uh, just not too far from me. Um, it's, uh, uh a non-denominational church. Um, I've been there for five and a half years and the pastor is in full support of, of our ministry. We come from several different churches, several different backgrounds. Uh, we're a nonprofit. So that way we're not linked to just one church. We are the capital C altogether. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, that's, uh, pretty much, uh, my church. Okay. And how about you, King Pitt? Uh, do you go to the same church? Yeah, I do. Um, okay. I, you know, once once the whole COVID thing hit and, and doing the whole uh, stay at home thing, um, you know, I, I my I move my pops in with me and I take care of him, so he doesn't get out and travel. So we do we do mm -hmm. church on TV, but yeah, we uh, same church. Um, it's it's a huge family. Uh, I've been there for I think going on ten years now. Okay. So. All right. So, um, are all is, is your whole team uh, a part of your church, or are any of your uh, members from different churches? I think we've got about seven or eight different churches that represent in the ministry. That's beautiful. Amen. Mm -hmm. That's real good. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, uh, so, Steve, let's get back to Kingpin because I'm 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 a little curious. You know, how how did you come <laughs> up with the name Kingpin? Tell me. I want to hear the story. Mm -hmm. uh, about three months ago, um, I I had a full on beard, and I mean it was you know, down the middle of my chest, full on gray Santa looking beard. Uh -huh. And uh, it, it had just been coming to a point that I wanted to, you know, I, I want a little change. I need okay. some change in my life. And, you know, that was, that was an easy one. So <laughs> I, went ahead and I shaved it off and uh, shocked most people. Cause you know, it, nobody's really ever seen me without a beard. Cause I've had it for <laughs> you know eight years. Mm -hmm. And, uh, when I first shaved it off, there were, there were a couple of comments, you know, people said, well, you look like that boxer Butterbean. <laughs> and I didn't take that as a compliment. I mean, no disrespect to the man. I mean, you know, he's got, got quite an accomplishment, but I, I didn't want to, you know, that comparison. But, <laughs> but then one friend of mine said, well, actually to me, you look like that DC comic villain, the Kingpin. <laughs> <laughs> and I like that one a whole lot better. So yeah. okay. I want to have the dog as my okay. as my road name. King right. is better than Butterball. I, I agree. All right. I agree. All yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's funny, man. That's really funny. <laughs> yeah. Um, and how about you, Steve? What's your uh, do you uh, I'm sorry? go by Steve or do you have a, a road, do you have a road name as well? I do not. It's no, okay, I, I okay, believe okay. it's something that's earned. <laughs> okay, King, okay. King Pin earned it. Our vice president Rico, he earned his. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So yours will come with time, huh? It will come with time. Give and it will not be King squirrel. <laughs> we will lean it towards squirrel. Oh, squirrel man. seem to have a love for Steve and, and, and when he's riding. I mean, it's it's amazing how many squirrels will like dart out in front of him on yeah, a single ride. Yeah, yeah. Squirrel seems to fit, but you know. Yeah, yeah. Hey, it's, it's better squirrels to dart out in front of you than deer, because trust that's and true. believe. Yeah, Amen. That's a, that's a whole nother experience. Hey, we got John Aguilera. He's with us on tonight. Uh, he says, we are to represent Christ in everything we do as men and women of God. That is so true. That is so true. Yeah. Uh, we also have Chris Wilson with us. He says, best wishes to y'all. Thank you, Chris. Chris thank is a you. really cool dude, man. I think a lot of Chris, man. And uh, so uh, we thank you for tuning in, Chris. And thank you for those uh, well wishes. Uh, we appreciate you very, very much. Um, and Seller says, the mission is definitely for us to um, advance uh, the kingdom 
of Jesus Christ. Yeah, it is indeed. It is indeed. You know, it's something, guys, and you guys can jump in here if you'd like to. Uh, Being on a motorcycle, um, I I just think people genuinely like motorcycles. And those who don't ride them still kind of just see them as kind of like cool or whatever, you know. Mm -hmm. And I know there's been several times where, um, you know, I pull up somewhere, whether it be the gas station or wherever, get off the bike. And uh, somebody says, oh, nice bike. And next thing you know, 15, 20 minutes later, we're still talking, you know. And um, so it's like that bike can really tear down some barriers uh, if you look for the opportunity. Right. Mm -hmm. Uh, What do you guys say about that? Absolutely. Um, I mean, people are intrigued. Their their children are intrigued. Yeah. And they see that. They see see the patches, and they really start to read what the patches yeah. are, and that that just opens the the door for the spirit to move. I have one on my yeah. side that says uh, it's Latin, it's sola fide, and it's just uh, justification by faith alone. Mm-hmm. So, you know, you get that those types of things that that people need to ask to understand, and it just opens the the door for the spirit to move. And to share the gospel. All right, let me let me ask you a hypothetical question. Okay, um, I just moved to Ohio, and I'm about maybe 15 minutes uh, from from where you guys ride at. Uh, you know, I got a motorcycle. Uh, you know, I, I ride from time to time. I'm not an avid rider, but I, I ride from time to time. Uh, and I love the Lord. You know, why should I join Shield of Faith? George, want to take that? <laughs> sure. Um, <laughs> see, it's it's a two way street. Um, you know, it, your heart really has to be in for the ministry, the mm-hmm. ministry side of it. Um, you know, w- with SFMM, our our whole we're, we're so outwardly focused on serving the community and serving our, our our lost brothers and sisters that you know the motorcycle and the patches and the vest that just gets everybody's attention. Mm-hmm. You know, but it's it's our heart and and what we're doing in the community that is mm-hmm. making the difference around us. Mm-hmm. Um, some of our members have come into the ministry just from seeing us minister. Right. You know, I mean, we are just you know un, uh, we are just totally uh, let let God go. You know, mm-hmm. uh, let mm-hmm. God use us, and people are seeing that. Mm-hmm. So people that are wanting to get involved with the ministry. You are more than invited to come in, take a look at what we do, see how we do it, jump in and participate. But then, you know, there's going to be a conversation, you know, where's your heart at? Mm -hmm. Is is this something that God is calling you to do? Because it's not for everybody. You are absolutely right, right there. It is not for everybody. You might love the Lord and you might like motorcycles, but doing motorcycle ministry you 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 got to you got to be called it's, it's i agree with you there uh kingpin i really do uh, and, anybody and else the ministry ahead, is, is also a part of evangelism also mhm it yeah. is yeah yeah it is indeed it it really is mm-hmm. um let's see here the motorcycle is a wonderful tool to reach people you may not get to talk to yep. um and i think that is definitely true um because let's just be real. Some people we wouldn't normally interact with. And if we did, it would probably be minimal. Um, but like you said, Steve, you know, uh, motorcycles are intriguing. And, um, and so I've witnessed it over and over again where it opens doors. And I, I'm the kind of guy don't really meet a stranger. You know, I mean, I I can talk to anybody anywhere. Um, Mm -hmm. but the motorcycle, uh, I tell you, man, it is indeed, uh, as, uh, as Terry said, a tool, it's a tool. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. We've got Benny, uh, Bernie uh, on tonight again. He says, I'm extremely blessed to be a part of SFMM, which is Shield of Faith Motorcycle Ministry. And I look at motorcycles as one more tool to break the ice and talk about God and the gospel. Let me ask you this, Steve. Um, you guys a little bit over a year now in the ministry. Um, are there any other goals, any other direction that you look that you're looking for? To, to go or, or get to with, with the motorcycle ministry? Um, it, 
just depends on where God's going to take us. And I'm, uh, I know it's going to be a wild ride um, <laughs> because when he moves, we want to be able to move. Mm. Um, we've, since we started in, in January, We've doubled in, uh, um, almost doubled in size. We're one member short of doubling. Um, okay. We've got 11 members and seven support team members. I honestly see God doubling that again this year, nice. just uh, through our obedience and and, and um, keeping Him centered and in, in, in guiding this 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 ride. You know, I believe anything that God is a part of, it must grow. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yeah. It, 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 it's supposed to grow, you know, Jesus cursed a fig tree because it, it wasn't growing it. You know, I mean, mm-hmm. I just believe that anything God is a part of, is going to grow. It's going to Amen. grow. Exactly. You, you mentioned something just a second though, Steve, about, you said you had, I forget the number, but you have support team members. Tell me how that works. The support teams. Um, the s- support teams is, is right now is a majority of uh, our members wives. Okay. But it is also open to anybody that wants to be a part of the ministry but doesn't ride, or it's it's a way to to get in to the ministry without the commitment that uh, mm-hmm. a member holds. Um, right. But they do just basically everything that we do. They just don't ride. Yeah, yeah. their own yeah. own motorcycle, I should say. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so um, we've got people on our prayer team that are part of our our um, support team. And nice. you know, we, we, there's a lot of stuff in the ministry that that happens behind the scenes, and not one or five people can do everything. Right. So we, we depend on that support, even if they're in the background praying as we we're out ministering, out riding. It's oh, big. That's all. Awesome. That's what's up. Mm-hmm. Uh, we've got a very uh, special lady that has joined the uh, conversation. Uh, I had a chance to meet her at the proc, I believe it was, uh, down in Atlanta one year. Miss Pat Hart of Philly is in the building, y'all. Give it up for Pat. Uh, hey. She says it's all about the real of God. Uh, Miss Pat, we appreciate that. She's down in the in, in the Philly area. And, um, and, you know, we, we, we mentioned this yesterday as we were talking low rider and, uh, and black ops and myself, um, who black ops is our, um, our road captain. And we were talking about the fact that we have to let our authenticity be real. We, we, we can't be on these bikes and have these patches on our back and say, we love the Lord. Uh, and we really don't, you know, Mm -hmm. or we say we love the Lord, but our actions so something. We just got to be real because mm-hmm. I believe that as a motorcycle ministry, we should also be available for the motorcycle clubs, whether mm-hmm. 1% or, or, or 99% or right. it doesn't matter. Uh, yeah. But these people need prayer sometimes. They need guidance sometimes. Sometimes, you know, and, and if we're, we can't, like, who, who said it? Um, Steve, I think you said it. Ariel had told you, you can't minister to somebody that you secretly want to be like. And, you know, I respect everybody, uh, but I'm a little church boy. Mm-hmm. I, I, I love the Lord and I'm, I'm just going to keep it real, you know. Uh, so we appreciate Pat for watching. Thank you very much for your comments. Uh, let's see here. Motorcycle, op- motorcycles open the door uh, for ministry and conversation. Uh, sometimes that's the only way some people would even receive the gospel. Show yeah. enough the truth. That's right. That's right. Show enough the truth. Um, so the making of a motorcycle ministry. Number one, uh, I think uh, a motorcycle. I think motorcycle ministries are necessary. Okay, that's number one. Uh, number two. Um, and I think someone said, or at least alluded to this a little while ago, um, we are all different. I, I think it was a viewer. We are all different. We come from different walks of life, different cultures, so on and so forth. Uh, so shield the faith cannot nor should be kingdom alignment and kingdom alignment cannot and should not be shield the faith. You, you know, you, you see what I'm saying? Uh, but kingdom alignment can lean on shield of faith for their expertise uh, to bless us, benefit us, help us, and vice versa. That mm. so I'm a firm believer in letting people uh, uh, be who they are because God did not call us to be clones. Anybody want to jump in on that one? 
That's right. So, um, Steve, if you would, uh, President, uh, give us some tips, give us some uh, some insight on the making of a motorcycle ministry. Well, like I alluded to before, uh, just uh, spirit led, Christ centered uh, prayer. It's it's continuously um, love for others. Uh, if we can't see peop- uh, others through the the eyes of Christ in love. How can we expect to lead them to a loving God? Right. Mm-hmm. Um, leadership <laughs> you, mm-hmm. and, and accountability. Uh, we need to surround ourselves with like minds and men awesome. and women that are on the same mission. Awesome. Um, I'll lead to uh, Proverbs 27. I, I'm sure we've all heard that iron sharpens iron. Yep. But a, mm-hmm. accountability, Ephesians 5 speaks that we need to submit to one another out of reverence for Christ. Mm -hmm. So that is all, all key to starting and, and growing that, that ministry. Amen. Amen. So tell us a little bit more about shield of faith. If you had to say uh, you had a specialty or special, uh, let's say a niche, if you will, um, what would you say it is? Uh, or maybe we can ask it this way. What makes you different from other motorcycle ministries? I would say our, our niche, it may turn, turn an eyebrow. Our niche isn't ministering to uh, the one the, the percenters, the right. motorcycle clubs. We're out there in, in search of our, we, we intentionally pray that God leads us to the lost, the, anybody along our route. Um, right. we, may, we may intentionally stop somewhere because the spirit is guiding us in there, like uh, what Kingpin shared. Um, we just have to be available. Mm-hmm. Amen. All right. Um, so let's switch gears a little bit. Anybody else have anything that they wanted to add or, or, or share or anything? Uh, Lowrider or Kingpin? Yeah, I wanted to. Uh, we were talking about ministering and, and being out there ministering. Have you ever seen an unhappy motorcycle rider? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Well, as a ministry, know. how easy is it? Because we're already out there and happy. So right. how easy is it for us to continue with that? And yeah, you're just a happy motorcycle rider. Let yeah. me tell you why I'm such a happy motorcycle rider. Right, okay. right, right, you know? right, right, right. All right. All right. I think Bernie made a good point here. He says we are the body of Christ and the foot can't be the hand, but the hand needs the foot or the other way around or, or vice versa. So um, I, I think that if we would understand that, we would be so much better off, you know, because I need low rider, you know, I need, I need Kingpin. I I, I need Steve or squirrel or whatever it's going to be, you know, in the future. You know? <laughs> you know, uh, I, I, I really do, you know, and, um, you know, there, there have been other brothers, you know, Ariel, Nelson, uh, Aguilera, which is JJ Aguilera, uh, and, and so many of these brothers, man, where, you know, I can pick up the phone and just, just reach out to them, just talk to them. You know what I'm saying? Um, th- trust me, we need each other. We need Amen. each other. Um, Amen. So, yeah. Okay. It's just like we all have different spiritual gifts, but we all build each other and it all edifies Christ. It mm, all that's edifies Christ. Right. Mm. <laughs> Terry says, squirrel, LOL. Love it. Looking for the patch. <laughs> can, can you done started something tonight, man. You done started something tonight. <laughs> we'll get him one of them hats with the squirrel. Don't be careful, second gear. <laughs> be careful, second gear. <laughs> okay, you, you, you see what we're doing right now? I believe that this is a major part of ministry too, mm-hmm. to just be able to let your hair down, relax and laugh a little bit. Amen. You Amen. Know, uh, I think sometimes people think that, you know, ministry is all about quoting scriptures and, and it's nice to know scriptures. Uh, yeah. uh, but, but sometimes, you know, the Bible even says that laughter is like medicine to the soul, you know? Amen. Um, so, uh, but let's switch gears a little bit. Um, so just a little bit over a year, um, what is it that you're going to do 
to ensure that Shield of Faith is still around five, ten years down the road? Uh, that's building into uh, our younger members. Nice. So that way, you know, um, through, I don't want to say a mentor, like mentor, but mm -hmm. uh, it's just it's just like Christ did. Um, they weren't, it wasn't just overnight. This right. was a process. Yeah. And they, they, they still grew after Christ was ascended. Mm -hmm. So, I, I mean, I would love to do this until I, I can't any physically can anymore. The good Lord right. calls me home. Yeah. But if we're not building into, if we're not building into our members, it will fizzle. I think uh, I was looking, um, I was doing a little research um, that there was a statistic out there that 50% of people that go into ministry uh, starting out fizzle out within five years. Mm -hmm. that, that's astronomical. It is. No kidding. Um, it's just, you know, and it, it's, it's surrounding your, like I said before, it's surrounding yourself with people that are like-minded and on the same mission. Exactly. But it's, it's also bringing those into the fold mm -hmm. that will be the future leaders mm -hmm. Amen. and bringing them up right. alongside and, and pouring and investing in them. Yeah. That's where the future is. Yep. You're absolutely right. Otherwise, you'll just be a one hit wonder. You know, you, yeah. you, you know, you, you, you were you were the man, you were this, that or the other. Um, but then when you were gone, it's gone. Yeah, and, uh, that's that's terrible. Man. Mm -hmm. we, we've got exactly. to know how to build into pour into uh, those who are under us, if you will, or, or with us. Maybe I should say it that way. Um, and so I've got this thing. Let me see if I can. Uh, 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 so how do I, I want to say good uh, leaders lead good leaders will attract other leaders, but great leaders know when to step aside. Mm -hmm. So you've got to understand when your season is up. Um, and, and here's the thing. Sometimes it's not that God is done with you, but sometimes he'll move you on to another capacity, you know? And um, so I think that's good, Steve, that you're, you're thinking in that direction. Uh, if you do that, man, yeah, yeah. Shield of Faith will be around for a while. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, well, Rico Rico and I, early on, um, which is Bernardo, he's been uh, chiming in. Um, okay, okay. We, uh, he's, my, he's our vice president. And okay, uh, okay. We, we, we work together, but we bounce stuff off each other all the time. And we, we kind of coined a, a phrase that we cannot limit a limitless God. So right. let's dream big. And if it's in God's will, he's going to provide it. Mm -hmm. But it's we, why put limits on things? Right. I think, you know, we put God in a small box. Right, right, right. And God is so much. God can't be contained. So why? Why put limits on things? Amen. Exactly. Amen. He cannot be contained. I, that's real talk right there. That is real talk. Um, all right. So one more question for you. Five years from now, uh, I, we've talked about, you know, uh, Shield of Faith, having longevity. You'll be pouring into the younger uh, generation and those that are with you and things like that. Um, but what do you see for Shield of Faith five years down the road? I, I see great numbers. Um, just uh, we're already starting to move in, in another direction that we that, that I, I feel strongly that God's leading us into. It's uh, how he tells us to take care of the, the orphans and the widows. We, we want to partner with a, a foster care agency not only so we can minister toward um, the employees of the agency, but the, the kids that are bounced from home to home, uh, it, taking their belongings in a garbage bag. Um, God's going to open the door for that. And not only that, it's going to open the doors to the, the parents. 
th these people are opening their homes to absolute strangers and providing for them. Uh, you know, it, 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 it's like the good Samaritan. It, it's, you know, just a, uh, we want to instill in them. It's just a, a, a dependence on God to lead them, to lead those kids. Hey Amen. That's awesome, man. That is truly awesome. Now, you said earlier that you guys were doing some uh, some outreach ministry. Uh, at, at what country? What country was it? Oh, uh, it was Haiti. Oh, in Haiti. Okay. 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 Yes, sir. Yeah. yeah, a lot of ministry to be done. A lot of ministry to be done for real. Um, all right, so we've got some longevity going on. Five years down the road, you're still doing your thing. Um, do you see, uh, because you're already doubled in size almost, um, so uh, you have any plans on uh, branching out to other uh, other areas of Ohio or anything like that, other chapters? Is that something you guys have discussed, or is that in the... Uh, if God leads it that way, yeah, um, I think a serious conversation would be... To uh, we need to sit down and um, kind of figure out what the logistics would look like that way. Yeah. Um, we we were a little bit um, prepared preparing for that. Um, that's what this patch is. Um, we figured if we do branch out, um, we don't want to have chapters or locations. Um, yeah. It's going to be. Uh, well, the first 12 would be the 12 tribes of Israel. Mm -hmm. And we took on the um, the Lion of Judah, the, the tribe of Judah, mm -hmm. as the, the original gotcha. Gotcha. formation. Right, right. That's that's nice. I like that. Yeah, I like that. I like that. All right. Well, um, anything else you'd like to share uh, with us on tonight, uh, Steve or, or, or Kingpin? Looks like I, I lost my VP. I think he might have had some technical difficulties. Um, but anything else you want to share? Making of a ministry and 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 longevity of a ministry. Um, I'd I'd like to to share a little bit. Um, kind of like a, what preluded uh, the five of us toward forming the ministry. Um, I'd contacted the four guys and, and really wanted to get a Bible, some type of Bible study. Uh, we all love, we're passionate about Jesus and uh, our motorcycles. So that brought the commonality amount, uh, uh, to us. But I, st I, I found a book that's called I've Got Your Back. And it's all about uh, brotherhood, forging bonds with other men. Uh, nice. uh, what really caught me was in 20 uh 2015 they did a a survey and there was 120,000 christian men and they were asked one question do you have a best friend mm. you're not going to believe the numbers 95 percent answered no so that's 19 out of 20 christian men that don't have a best friend and you know we all fight our own battles but we we can fight for so long by ourselves but we won't last long. Wow. So and it, um, this is all about opening up t to each other, um, that, that true brotherhood. Um, praying for each other. Accountability is huge. Yeah. Um, there's yeah. a check six questions. Uh, Gary, Dr. Gary Yagle uh, just nailed this book. Um, and it's something that, that, that could be part of our future future ministry mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, of taking this to, to churches. And, you know, we, we, as we were in the fold, we strongly uh, urge people to get involved in, in this IGY six. And that's, that's why we wear this IGY six patch. Every time we look at it, we know our brothers. Nice. We think of our brothers, you, you know, and it, it, it's, it's gotta be intentional. We have to be intentional about, uh, you know, somebody starts slipping away. It's like, what's going on? Right. Uh, what are you battling? Let me come up alongside you. Like I said before, linking shields together. Yep. 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 Back to back, arm to arm. That's the way we fight. And yep. it's drawing that line and not going, you know, it to advance. We need to cross that line. 
with the enemy, but we don't go back over that line. Otherwise, we're setting stag or we are or falling behind. Wow. I mean, such a powerful point you bring up, uh, Steve. You know, um, what would you say is the reason why, you know, so many brothers fight in silence, you know, uh, you know, they say, you know, they have no friends, no best friend or whatever. And, and I think that a lot of times, you know, we see so many men who are dealing with things, uh, but they do it in silence. If, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Shame, uh, pride. Shame. Okay. <laughs> yep. Got men or <laughs> stereotyping men. They don't like to ask for help. I mean, how many times does a, a wife say, well, you, maybe you should just stop for directions? <laughs> <laughs> now, that's a whole different topic right there. You know, we don't find our way there. <laughs> yeah. How often do we, we come out from behind the walls that we've built up yeah. and let somebody in? Yeah, that's true. Because we're afraid to get hurt. But mm -hmm. when it's Christ led and the accountability is out of love, and you're telling me, what you want me to hold you accountable for and what you're struggling with yeah. that 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 tears down walls you're so right you're so right man and i think that that's what it's all about tearing down those walls man you know and um let's go to a couple of the uh, comments here um we've got nick holly with us he's actually the president of the ohio chapter uh um uh kingdom uh kingdom knights uh, how far are you from Canton? I don't know uh, where he is. Uh, he's in Canton, uh, Canton, Ohio. Oh, uh, Canton, that's the area. That's yeah, that's up by Columbus. Probably three and a half hours. Okay, okay. He's a really solid dude, man. Uh, Nick Holly, thank you for pressing play and being with us on tonight. Uh, God bless you, sir. And uh, we'll be coming to see you as well. We can hit up that triple nickel next year. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Have you guys wrote it yet? Not yet. That's that's yeah. one of the to dos for us. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Nick, he hit it up on uh, this year. I, I think it was maybe last month or whatever. And um, uh, he said it was beautiful, man. He said it was beautiful. Yeah. So I, I'm gonna I'm gonna get up there next year, uh, and we're gonna get up there and ride it. Uh, Manuel says, uh, where would Timothy be if he had not been in the company of his Christian brother Paul? Right. Fellowship in the brotherhood is a necessary. Excuse me, it's a necessity for godly men to grow Amen. mere eating and fellowshipping doesn't cut the mustard we nope. must have a strong brotherhood for accountability and encouragement and that's so true Amen. when you ride side by side with your brother uh yeah. it just builds a, a a different kind of bond you know and um and i hope and pray that kingdom alignment motorcycle ministry will be able to offer such uh comfort and 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 support so that not only those who join but even those we come in contact with uh can feel that and i pray the same thing for you guys up there in ohio too steve and and, uh, and kingpin uh, i've got a saying that i often say and it's simply this true ministry eliminates the fear of discipline and allows you to focus on the need to get right so in other words if we're doing ministry right they're not going to be so concerned about the, the backlash or the consequences because it's such an atmosphere that allows them to focus more so on getting right, yeah. you know? And so that's what we are hoping to provide for uh, the area. Uh, yeah. Nick says it's a must do the triple nickel, the five, five, five. <laughs> And uh, so we will do it. I saw my friend on here as well from the field, a.k.a. Springfield. Kenny Barnett is in the building, uh, also known as The Promise on uh, 90.7 uh, on the FM dial. He's been there, good Lord, what, about 30, 35 years, I think. Uh, so we want to say good, good night to him and thank you for pressing play. He also rides. He also rides, so we we kind of keep it in right. touch with him. We, you know, see see if he right. see if he if he really about it. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Good night, Kenny. Thank you for pressing play, sir. Well, guys, it's been great talking with you guys on tonight, and um, it's always an honor. Um, uh, he wants to know where you guys are located. Nick uh, wants to know where you guys are located. So, if you would just share again uh, where you guys are located and how they can reach out to you and get in contact if they needed to. Um, 
we're on a Mainville, Ohio, just a north uh, west. Or, I'm sorry, northeast suburb of Cincinnati. Uh, he can get a hold of us. Uh, our website is www.shieldoffaithmotorcycleministry.org. Amen. Do you have it right there? www.shieldoffaithministry.org. Is that right? Motorcycleministry.org. Motorcycleministry.org. Correct. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so there you have it, folks. We've got uh, Steve and Kingpin. Uh, with it's us a long night. Say it again. Say it again, Steve. I said it's a long one. Yeah, yeah I said yeah, the, yeah. the website is a long one. But it is what it is, you know. Uh, it's all good. It's all good. Um, well, we appreciate you guys coming on the Retro Philosophy Show um, uh, tonight and just, you know, chopping it up with your homeboy, man. And, and again, we're looking forward to getting down and see you guys. Um, uh, yeah, come this, uh, come spring. I'll, I'll be coming that way. I certainly great. will, man. Um, if we don't come down first. Hey, there you go. It's a little warmer down this way, you know. Right. So, you know, you come on down, I get you a hot dog, a hamburger, or something, you know, some shrimp or something, or whatever your fancy is, you know, some donuts, some coffee. I don't know. Some barbecue. <laughs> there you go. There you go. There you go. Some barbecue. Yeah, man. Um, all right. Any, um, any, um, any, um, dream rides for you, uh, guys? You know, if money and time wasn't an object, um, what, 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 ride, what ride would you do, Steve? Oh, I would I would have to do coast to coast, uh, north, uh, north, east to west, and then back from uh, down across the south, west nice. to east. So the four corners pretty so much. If it's a shorter ride, probably. Yeah, probably uh, if it was a shorter ride. Uh, I'm dying to do the Blue Ridge Parkway. Okay, okay, okay. It's beautiful, man. I haven't done it end to end, but I've, I've rode the Blue Ridge Parkway, and it is, it is beautiful. I just came back from Nashville. Um, I didn't take the Blue Ridge Parkway. I was on on forty, uh, but still, this time of year, man, it was beautiful, man. You know, mm. foliage and stuff like that. It's beautiful. Um, King, that King, gorge down with? there is beautiful too. The what? The gorge down there. Between North Carolina and, and Tennessee, yeah, on yeah, 40. yeah, 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 yeah. We'll get together and ride it one day, guys. That'd be cool. Yeah, uh, Kingpin, how about you? Money is no object, and time is not a problem. What's going to be your ride? It would have to be coast to coast. I mean, uh, just to be able to see all this creation that has been made, you know, and and do it from two wheels. Yeah. There, I can't. I can't imagine anything better than that. Yeah. It's, it's nothing like it, man. You know, in the car, uh, but on the bike, oh, man, yeah, yeah. True yeah. freedom. Um, okay, you guys, are, both of you guys married? No. I, no? Uh, Steve? Yes, I am. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay, okay. Kids? Yeah. Uh, I've got two adult children from my first marriage. Uh-huh. Do, do, do they ride? No. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I got I got two boys. Uh, neither of them. Well, my, my oldest is sixteen. My youngest is twelve. Um, my youngest will ride. Yeah. I know he will. <laughs> okay. Hey Amen. Ain't nothing wrong with that, man. Um. All right, listeners. Uh, excuse me. Uh, um. Uh, um. I'm just. I guess I'm tired, y'all. <laughs> it's been a long day. Um, but viewers, uh, if you would go ahead and put in the comment sections in the comment section, uh, what would be your ride if money and time was not uh, an issue? Bernie says the Blue Ridge. I guess he was referring to that question. Uh, but if anyone else has a great ride or a ride that you recommend, put it in the comment section. Uh, we'll see it. At, uh, who knows? We may ride it sometime soon. Uh, until then, if you are watching via Facebook, I need for you to head on over to YouTube, like and subscribe to our uh, YouTube channel. And uh, that way you will get notified every time we go live. That way you do not miss these great interviews that we have every Monday at 8 p.m. Again, uh, Steve and Kingpin, it was an honor. Uh, thank you for coming on the show. And do you have anything you want to say before we uh, before we cut loose? Thank you for having us. Uh, it's it's been a privilege. Um, 
I'm sure we're going to be talking in the near future again. Um, yeah. I'm, we're, we're an open book. We're transparent. We love yeah. love sharing uh, what we've learned, what we've been through to to help somebody else out. That's awesome. That's awesome. I, I really appreciate that, man. And I, you will be hearing from me. Uh, I'll be reaching out to you from time to time, see how you're doing and might even be calling to, you know, get some advice, some direction. Uh, I don't mind doing that. So you will hear from me. Kingpin, you got anything you want to leave us with, brother? Uh, thank you so much. I mean, this was this was awesome. I mean, it, it was uh, beyond my expectations, just oh, a lot of fun. God. And it's, <laughs> it's always great to to be able to connect with brothers across the United States here and, yeah. and just uh, fellowship and share faith, man. Amen. Amen. Uh, one last question for you, Kingpin. Yes, sir. How are you going to grow it back? Eventually I will. Um, okay. It's just, uh, <laughs> just a change for now. Yeah. 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 I, I trust me. I, I understand. I had cut mines off not too long ago. Just same thing, you know, just wanted a little change and, and uh, I started missing it after a while though. So I'm kind of <laughs> seeing, you know, um, all right. Well, we really appreciate you, appreciate you guys coming on and um, just go ahead and hold the line. Don't, don't hang, don't, don't click off yet. Okay. Right. Uh, we're going to go ahead and wrap this up and, uh, and uh, yeah, so look at here, folks, we thank you so very much for uh, tuning in on tonight, being a part of the Retro Philosophy Show. And I hope that this interview um, uh, blessed you in some shape, form or fashion. Uh, hopefully you learned something or were inspired uh, because look at here, man. These are some good guys. These are some good guys. Uh, my wife says great convo tonight. Shield the Faith Motorcycle Ministry sound very solid. Keep up the work of the Lord. Amen. 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 Uh, Terry says already uh, subscribed and enjoyed it. Thank you so much. Uh, he also says I'm with the guys. I'm with the guys. Uh, smaller would be huh? smaller would be okay. Smaller would be the Blue Ridge uh, coast to coast uh, with the guys as well. Okay. So there you have it. Maybe we'll all get together. We'll hit the Blue Ridge and then hit from coast to coast. Well, actually, we're doing the coast to coast um, next month. Next month, me and the wife will be leaving uh, North Carolina, headed down to Jacksonville, Florida, pick up the I-10 and ride it all the way to the end. I end up in California. Um, all right. So without any further ado, man, we're going to wrap it up again. We want to thank you guys for um, pressing play and being with us on tonight. We appreciate every comment. Um, and uh, yeah, we really do. Made it from the bottom of my heart. It's your boy Retro. And I'm going to let you go, man. God bless you. And heaven smile on you. God is good all the time. And all the time, God is good.